Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Sword, but we only can use grass type Pokemons. Once again, this is a hardcore Nuzlocke, so we are not going to be using items between battle. We are only going to be using grass Pokemon. We can only catch one per route as long as it is also a grass Pokemon. We must name the Pokemon. I have a fun little thing what we're going to do to name the Pokemon between these episodes and everything. And once again, we are not following the over leveling clause at this current moment, or I guess we are at the current moment, but we are not going to in the future more than likely. But let's go on jump right into it and enjoy today's episode continuing on and we are heading towards the G galar mines where we're just gonna kind of walk in take a look around this is easily one of the most beautiful places in like half of the game series we're gonna find a star piece on the ground that's not really worth anything to us we are gonna go outside up this canyon side and on back on route three and find rock blast which could be useful at some point but not currently at this moment somehow we're gonna dodge this weird miner who's just looking around and find one of the best tms in the entire game which is scary face then we get to meet the purple pink dude with the marshmallow haircut. He's going to essentially challenge us to a battle, say that we're not allowed to go through the mine unless we fight him. So we're gonna fight him. We learn this trainer's name is BD or Bede. I don't know what you want to call it. They're gonna throw out their Solosis. Now Solosis is very weak. So we're going to go into Nuzleaf here and we actually have beat up so we get to hit him five times since we have five Pokemon on our team. I will tell you that now this is a very long winded process of hitting, you know, one, two, three, four, five times all the way up to actually six times, which is very powerful, especially with having stab. Now, knowing that the next Pokemon coming out is going to be a fairy type because he does have fairies, we're going to go into Thwacky and Hatina here is very scary. So we're going to use Thwacky to hit it a couple of times and happily the first two do over 50. So we have a fairly high chance of going through and knocking it out in the next go the confusion doesn't confuse us so we're pretty good there and we're just going to hit it another two times to be able to take this one down then we're going to go back into nuzleaf because the fairy type threat is gone and thwacky's no longer needed so nuzleaf's going to come out here gothita is going to come out here and we're going to go for a whole nother beat up on this thing and hit it a couple times now this beat up's going to do a little bit more damage than we did against the solosis but it's still going to be fairly fine and all five of the hits here surprisingly does not take this got three to out not really sure how that happened definitely would have probably taken it out with six pokemon but we have not had the opportunity to get six grass types yet tickles are going to come out lower our attack which is not a big deal because we're just going to beat up again and take it out bd's not really super excited that we won this battle but i don't really care about his feelings he's gonna flick his hair just like every single trainer always does in this generation and they're just gonna take off like the coward that they really are on walking out, we're going to run into another Wooloo. I don't know what it is with Wooloos in this game, but the Wooloo is actually in honor of Milo. Milo is a grass trainer as well as he likes to raise Wooloo, and he's just a really cool outdoorsy kind of person. And yeah, he's just going to let us know he's going to go back to the gym and we can start the gym challenge there. Once we enter the town, we do see Sonia up here. We follow Yamper and Sonia all the way up here, and she just tells us the legend of the region with the Geoglyph and how Dynamax works and everything, essentially. So she just talks about the history of this area, how Dynamax works. I already said it. The darkest day. Not a big big deal, but she does just kind of tell us that Milo's weak to everything. She gives us some useless revives, which we'll never use anyways. And yeah, we're just gonna go on to the next part, which we find a leaf stone. We use it on Nuzli, and we are going to use him to evolve into shift tree shift trees like i think the only grass dark type that we get in this generation and it's going to be very useful just in general uh for multiple reasons we're going to meet hop outside of the gym area and he's just going to kind of tell us that he won and he just takes off whatever we're going to start the gym mission gym challenge whatever you would like to call it and we're going to get a very nice view of what this gym is essentially like and how big it actually is for being a giant dome so this is like a dome on the other side of a dome i don't really understand how the dynamics of this architecture works. It's a beautiful green scenery with a bunch of Wooloo, and the whole aspect of this is you have to scare the Wooloo all the way up here to this end goal. Counter to the side will count up. You have to get 20 out of 20, and then the Wooloo will knock down the hay bales, opening up the next area to go on through. The Yampers that run around here are just going to try and screw with you as much as they possibly can and scare the Wooloo off the opposite direction, but you just kind of keep trucking through. You keep doing it. They add a Yamper, and they add little challenges every now and then as it goes along long i took the honor of going ahead and battling all the trainers here anyways to get enough experience since we're still just barely under that level cap at this point i 
we actually lost a couple Wulu. We just let that Yamper scare him off. We'll put in these 17 and then we'll come back through and we'll get these other ones as well as go back through and battle the trainer, which this isn't too bad though. This Yamper was very tedious. Normally it's easier to go to the right side instead of the left side for this, but you know, we just kind of gave up on it. We scared these up here. We went back, battled the trainer, and then we continued on with this last section of the gym mission. After the Wulu knocked down these hay bales, they separate out 10 and 10, go to the opposite cages, they anonymously or autonomously lock, and we go up to the stairs to finish up this part of the gym mission and head on inside to battle Milo. Once inside, we do get to see this massive crowd of people who gather in for the gym challenge. This is like way more people than I've ever seen at a baseball game, but we do see Milo, the cute little baby face gym trainer that he is. We shake hands, we go our separate ways, and we get to begin this battle against Milo to hopefully win the grass gym badge. He throws out Gossifleur, who's, you know, a cool Pokemon, and we throw out Shiftry here, who is just going to be absolutely clutch in this battle because he can learn Air Cutter since his uh, attack and his special attack are the exact same. It doesn't matter what we use here. So this air cutter does a ton of damage, does more than 50. That's the important part. And we're going to use it one more time to be able to take the Glossifleur down. The next Pokemon he's going to throw out is Eldegrass, Glossifleur's higher Pokemon. We know that he's going to Dynamax. So we are going to Dynamax ourselves. And Giant Shift Tree is always more scary than Little Shift Tree. Eldegrass is going to come out here. And I don't believe this is the Dynamax form of Eldegrass, but it's still, you know, the, the visual aspect of that. But he is still very strong, very scary, very tanky. So we're going to go for a max airstream here. Do a lot less damage than I thought we were going to do. And it's going to increase my speed, which doesn't matter. We're already faster than this Eldegrass. He's going to use max overgrowth, which is going to set up grassy terrain and heal both of us over a little bit of time, which I'm not 100% sure if this was like a good or a bad idea at this time. But I know that in the end, it actually mattered a lot because this heals me up by three or four points. It's not a big deal. Heals him up about three or four points. We're going to go for another max airstream and that only takes him to about 50 percent and this is where it starts getting scary because i have one more turn of dynamax left he has one more turn of dynamax and this max strike is going to do way too much damage and actually put me within a range to where like this could knock us out and we could lose shift tree in the entire game the other four points go up on both ends of the field that's eight points of hp that we now have and happily we get a very very good hit with that max airstream being a critical this actually Actually was a critical moment. It helps us take the Eldegrass out and not actually lose this match. Milo is very shocked. He, you know, congratulates us on winning. We give a pretty good handshake. And in that handshake, he gives us the badge. And we go out into turf field to show off that we are now a good trainer and we're awesome. And at this time, I'm running around. I'm remembering, hey, we didn't get a grass Pokemon from that last route. So we go back, we look around, we don't find one, but right away I do see that there's a wild Pumpkaboo here. So we're gonna go ahead, use a leaf blade on Pumpkaboo, get a crit, and happily not knock it out. But we are gonna be able to throw the Pokeball, catch the Pumpkaboo. The names is kind of weird, but guess what? Pumpkaboo's name in short is just gonna become Pumpkaboo with numbers instead of letters. But it's funny because this has a majority of letters instead of numbers, but I'm not too, you know, upset about that. But yeah, no, that's Pumpkaboo. I would like to thank everybody for watching today's episode. Please make sure you like the video. If you like the video, drop a comment down below about what you would like to see in the next series or how you guys are liking this video. Subscribe to the channel so you know when we are posting new videos. If you hit the little bell icon next to that, you'll get notified whenever we get to post videos. Also check down in the info description. We have all of my social links how you guys can get a hold of me if you have requests or pretty much just any little any little loose ends you could possibly think about and once again if you guys like the video go ahead press that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel for more until then i'll see you guys next time